Thank you, Dr. Lourdes. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, more discussion about the end of AIDS and how we're going to get there. So we now have a message from Dr. Mark Dybel. He's executive director of the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria. Dr. Dybel was the driving force and the leader of U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief. And in 2006, he became the U.S. Global AIDS Coordinator with the rank of Ambassador, where he served until 2009. Please direct your eyes to the screens for Dr. Dybel's message. Good afternoon. I'm very sorry I can't be with you today. I uh, hoped I could and would very much like to physically be present, but at the time I received the invitation, I already had a commitment in Europe and so could not join you. I do want to thank Julio uh, and the entire organizing committee for inviting me to participate, and of course my brother Michelle, CD Bay, and UNAIDS for the great work they're doing uh, on leading the effort to, to defeat HIV. I know the topic for the conversation today is about, and I wish I could be there to have an interactive conversation, about the next set of targets, where we want to go globally. And I think in doing that, it's good to reflect on where we were 12 years ago. You know, 12 years ago when goals were being set, whether they were the 2, 7, and 10 goals or the Millennium Development Goals, we were really trying to do what we could and to use the tools that we had to change where we were and to stop death and as many new infections as possible. And that led to targets based on that because that's what was possible. But now we're in a different time. We're in an, an historic moment, a real inflection point, a tipping point where we can be very bold because we have the scientific advance, we have the advances in our epidemiological understanding of the disease at a very refined level, and we have 12 years of massive and important and successful investments on the ground that has changed the landscape, it has changed everything. And we can be far more bold. So as we're looking to the future, rather than focusing on individual targets around different topic areas of the fight against HIV, I think we should be setting one goal and one goal only, and that is to end HIV as an epidemic. Now you can use different messages around that depending on the audience you're speaking to. Uh, for this group, we can be very scientifically precise. As a general, for general audience, we might want to talk about ending HIV as a public health threat, something people understand uh, more clearly for a broader audience. But for this audience, we can talk about ending HIV as an epidemic, and for setting goals, we can talk about the epidemiological target of ending HIV as an epidemic, changing it to low-level endemicity. And I'll talk about what a target could look like related to that. Of course, a second part of the goal for the future is to provide care and treatment to those who need it. But that is a goal that we could have had 10 years ago the goal that we can and must have today, and what, what we must be entirely focused on, is bringing this epidemic to, down to low-level endemicity, to ending it as an epidemic. So if that's our goal, what do the targets look like? Well, we can debate that, and I think there should be an active debate on it. But certainly we want to look at prevention, specific prevention targets, and also specific treatment targets. But before we get to those types of targets, I want to be clear about something related to the epidemic and about care and treatment, and that is equity, which is a very important theme of the chapeau that is being put forward for the post-2015 agenda. And that means we have to move past the tyranny of averages when we're talking about epidemics and providing care and treatment to looking at sub-regional uh, goals and population goals. So that goal of ending the epidemic can't just be an average. It actually has to look at sub-regions, not just national level epidemics, but sub-national epidemics. Because we know there are hot spots. We know there are places, including in the United States, including in Europe, where we have, for the most part, brought HIV under control, except in certain geographies, or in high-risk populations, or people most at risk of having HIV, which are key affected populations. There are men who have sex with men, they're sex workers, they're people who inject drugs, they're prisoners. 
They're the people most marginalized and made vulnerable by society. And it's not okay to do averages anymore. We actually have to look at geographies and we have to look at populations, those most at risk to ensure that we have equity. And we have to bring the ep epidemic under control in all of those sub-geographies and sub-regions and all populations and key affected populations. And that's a key part of what we need to do going forward because we know that if we don't, we will continue to leave people behind even as we achieve, even as we achieve an, an historic objective of bringing this epidemic under complete control. So let's talk about specific targets related to that with that overarching understanding of the goal of ending the epidemic and providing care and treatment to those who need it in all geographies, sub-geographies, and for all affected populations. So the target on prevention probably needs to be very refined and very specific, and I think there needs to be a lot of conversation on that. One could be RO equals one. Another could be in all geographies and populations, an incidence rate of 0.05 or less, which would probably mean national averages of 0.2 or around that area. That's something that needs to be modeled out and discussed. discussed. But I think we should be setting very specific targets in epidemiological terms to bring what we would define as the epidemic to an end, to that low-level endemicity, and define what that low-level endemicity is. Again, in every sub-geography and in every key affected population. And then there's treatment, of course. And for treatment, we want to have a very aggressive goal, both for the care and treatment of those who have HIV, but also because of the preventive benefit of treatment as prevention. But it's not a silver bullet. We need to move forward with all prevention tools we have at our disposal because it is the panoply, the array of tools that will get us to the end of the epidemic. So as we're setting the treatment goal, there's the treatment for care goal and for people who have clinical need and there's the goal for prevention. And we'll have to refine that and look at it and see what it should be. But certainly we'll have to set a very aggressive target and have it contribute to the overarching goal of ending the epidemic while we're providing care and treatment for all who need it. And again, as we're looking at the panoply of what, how we achieve those targets, we'll have to look at what will work in each country, in each geography, in each key affected population using all the tools that we have available, uh, using the investment framework that UNAIDS has put forward, and applying that country by country, region by region, and key affected population by key affected population. You know, when we started all this 12 years ago together, when the country started using resources well to have an impact, you could spend money on virtually anything and have a big impact because disease was everywhere, because people were dying everywhere, and because interventions would lead to reductions in infections in many places. <clears throat> now we need to be much smarter. We need to take the epidemiology, use the science that we have, use the investments that we've made, and put them together so that we can have the greatest impact in a much more refined, much more intelligent way. If we do that, if we come together to use the resources well, if we take advantage of this historic moment, there is no doubt in my mind that this epidemic can end as an epidemic, that we can have and be free from HIV as a public health threat, as a major threat, not only on averages nation by nation or worldwide, but in every sub-region, sub in every sub-geography, and for every key affected population. To me, that's our goal and our only goal, and targets beneath that will contribute to it. But if we keep that goal in mind, if that is our single-minded objective, we will defeat this epidemic. And the people who are listening today are the group that will come together to do that. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person, but I hope we can all galvanize ourselves around this historic moment to end the modern-day Black Plague as an epidemic so that our children and their children will have to worry about other problems, not HIV. Thanks very much.